is how you do Korean backdash. Um, so it basically works, the way it works is you press back back, you hold down back, then while holding down back, when, when you release to neutral, you have to, you just release it for like literally a millisecond to neutral, then you press back again and then you hold down back. So, so the way you want to do it is you, you press back back for the first back dash, right? Because you, you will always back dash works like this as well. The thing is with this, it's not as fast since Brian always recovers which uh, in between every backdash. So the way so the way you want to do it is you want to cancel each backdash with a down back. That way you cancel each single backdash. And if you do that, if you hold down back while canceling a single backdash, you're getting in this crouch position. So if you're in this crouch position, that's basically basically step one is hold back back, right? Hold back back. This is the second back. Uh, this is the first back dash that you're getting. The second back dash is, or the second step is hold down back. If you hold down back, this is basically your second step. Your third step is release, release it to neutral, press back, and then hold down back again. And then you repeat it over and over. So you, you do step one, step two, and then you repeat step three over and over again. This also works for player two, it's literally the same thing. So you want to press back back, you hold down back. It's technically, ab it's absolutely the same thing. I can also do it on pad, it's not the, it's not the, it's just a matter of practice. So if you do that, because usually, so usually the thing is, why a lot of people end up getting a back sway with Brian is because they do the they do the sway they do the non sway method. They do they basically do backdash backwards. This is how you can also backdash, but it doesn't work with this method. The inputs you're seeing below, that method doesn't work with sway characters like Brian, Nina, or Paul. Simply because they have a back sway. So the way you want to do it is you want to get rid of the down input. Yeah, but this is what I'm doing, Taste. I know, I know that. I'm not doing, I'm not doing back, back, down, back, down, back, down, back. I'm not doing that. No, I'm not doing that. I'm simply saying, when, when you press back, back, you hold down back, and then you release it, you will get one auto input back from the engine. This is how the engine works. You will get one auto input. I mean, just test it. You do back back, you hold down back, then you release it to neutral, and then you only play uh, press back for once. This is how it works, and you are still getting a full back dash because the first back dash, because it's basically one back dash is uh, two single like inputs. It's pressing back, uh, it's pressing back twice, and you're getting one auto input while releasing from down back uh, from yeah from the down back to neutral you're getting one auto input you can see it look at how i'm i'm holding down back whenever i release it and press back you will see how i get two back inputs just watch wait it's not showing here properly look at the wait wait wait, wait. Uh, i hope you guys can see it let me let me make sure you guys can see what i mean it's really important so you can't see the inputs let me get rid of this so uh, it's it absolutely works. So I'm gonna show it again. You do uh, Wait, wait, wait It's it's really important that you understand Yeah, 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 you are Kitty there are people that are actually interested in Finding out how it works. So you do back back you're I'm holding down back. So if I release If I release this now and press one back, I'm gonna get Two backs. Did you see it? 
So I'm, I'm holding down back. And if I press back once now, if I release it to neutral and press back once, I'm gonna get two back inputs. Just watch at the right side. Oh, that was my bad. Do you see it? I'm getting two back inputs. Even though I'm just releasing it and pressing back. This is how it works. And that's basically it. I'm getting two back inputs even though I'm only releasing it and pressing back once. That's all it is, really. And... Uh, I mean, you, you're obviously seeing it. It's not that I'm... It's not that I'm shitting with you. I should clip this and upload it to YouTube, probably. So I'm gonna... I'm just gonna explain it once more. So for Korean Backdash, there are, there are like three steps that are mandatory in order to master it. So, you wanna press Backpack, that's your first backdash, right? That's a single backdash. Very useful. The thing is that the problem with it is that it kind of recovers slow and you're vulnerable while backdashing if you do it like this. So the way you want to properly do it, the way why you want to probably do it is because why you want to probably cancel it is because you're obviously moving faster. And so the first step is do a single back dash. The second step is hold down back. So now you have to understand that the engine in Tekken works like that. So that if you hold down back, release it and press it, uh, press back one more time, you're gonna get two back inputs, even though you're just releasing it to neutral and pressing back once. So if, you, if I release to neutral now and press back, you're gonna see how I will get two back inputs. See how I'm getting two back inputs. I'm just releasing to neutral and pressing back. So this is how it looks if I do it faster. I'm actually doing a right backdash. I can even backdash with any kind of sway character. Oops, see this was a mistake. I had a, I had a sway input in there. If I do it like this, this kind of backdash works with any kind of character that has not a sway. It's basically doing a, back uh, a wave dash backwards but this doesn't work with characters such as Brian uh, Paul or Nina so the way you want to do it is just press back back hold down back release to neutral and then press back again and hold down back so step one was back back just press back back second step is hold down back the third step is release it to neutral and then instantly press back again and hold down back so you want to do once uh, you want to do step one then step two and repeat step three over and over so step three is the most important one release it to um, release it to neutral and press back again back down back this is how it works and you s simply want to tap um, down back in order to make it work so for the two player side it's actually the absolute same thing wait I'm gonna just clear my comment history. This is how it looks when I do it slow. If I do it a tad faster, it's gonna look like this. And if I do it like super fast... The thing you gotta keep in mind is, the faster you do it, the more likely you... Um, the lower or the, the less space you will you will actually gain so it's important it's not important to do it super fast it's more important to it's more important to do it kind of slowly and to get the proper space covered that's how it actually works um, yeah if you've got any questions just make sure to ask me and I'll help with anything yeah that's it it's all about rhythm, pretty much. It's all about rhythm. Alright, that's it. Um, yeah, the uploading to YouTube might have been a good idea. I might upload that to YouTube. Let me just cut that out and upload that to YouTube.